Hi, Scott from Digital Fish with Content at Catches. It was another far north rock fishing adventure with partner in crime, George New. We were on the hunt for kingfish and snapper around Doubtless Bay, and I had a favourite ledge up my sleeve that would be safe to fish in the 20 knot winds that were predicted to hit later in the day. We unloaded and set up camp before deploying burly and baits in the water. Early morning often carries the excitement and anticipation of hopefully something bigger to come. It wasn't long before Kahawai found us and I had my first live bait. I was a bit lucky as it fell off at the right place and not back in the water. This Kahawai didn't know it, but I had big dreams for his future. A hard run on the pilchard bait turned out to be a juvenile kingfish. They always give a good account of themselves and it's nice to see them swim away strongly upon release. Time to change it up and I pulled out the Azores stickbait set to search the water for bigger kingfish. George yelled and said he had some kingfish around his live bait, although he wasn't sure how big they were, so I shot around to see if they were in the mood for a piece of hand painted wood with a couple of hooks attached. The beauty of stick baiting is the explosive surface strikes that happen. Here a small kingfish grabbed my lure and it was on. quick flick of the hook and back it went to fight another day. The day was shaping up nicely with fish on our lines, fish on the water and fish under the water too. My daydreaming was quickly interrupted when the drag on my SLX 50Y started to wind up a few notches. Something had eaten my kahawai and I was hoping it had green and yellow fins. There's something about leaning hard into a strike and feeling a heavy weight on the other end. Kingfish are tough fighters, so I went hard from the beginning especially since I had a big rock between me and the kingfish. I put lots of pressure on the fish to try and dictate its direction away from the sharp rocks. George scrambled around with the gaff and it eventually became a waiting game to get the fish into gaffing distance. I've lost lots of fish over the years by panicking and making stupid mistakes. Hopefully today wouldn't be one of them. And there it was, a touch under 15 kilos. It had been a while since I'd landed one this big from the rocks, now destined for the smoker. Time for a rest and a snack before I picked up the rod again. More juvenile kingfish turned up, they can often pull hard in the first run making you think you've hooked a big snapper. 
but the constant fighting gives it away after a while. It's challenging releasing fish off the rocks without a scrape or two, but it's important to try and let them go with minimal damage while keeping yourself safe. Big baits for big fish, so they say. I'd seen a good snapper lurking in the burley and was out to tempt it. solid red off the rocks. The day was turning out pretty awesome. I switched the braid over on my stick bait set for mono to do some bait fishing and had another strong run but it didn't last unfortunately. Bad knot or big teeth I wasn't sure but it signalled the end of the day when we started packing up camp to head home. Sore legs, a hot face and stinky hands after another good day on the stones. We had dinner, some stories and some great memories from Doubtless Bay. This is Scott from Digital Fish with Continent Catches.